you know, anytime you go away from home, bonus point win is uh, very satisfying. I thought the first half an hour was, was as good as we've played this year, really, with, with uh, you know, real high tempo, great offloading game. And, uh, and we did exactly what the game plan was, and we scored some good tries. I mean, there was quite a wind up there. Second half was a bit tougher. They played a bit better, and, uh, and we had to grind it out for the bonus, but, but overall very happy. Good bit of bonus, though, the momentum for this week. Yeah, of course. We'd, Newcastle are a pushover, despite what anyone says, particularly at home, particularly when the weather gets bad in the winter. So to play them on a nice day, we knew we needed really to, you know, to put them to the sword, and, and we did that, and we, and we got the bonus. You were on your way up, obviously, to Newcastle during the last game. Did you manage to see that at all? Or? No. Didn't see it. What, what do you, what do you make to the result overall? No, I'm very surprised. Any time you see Leicester Tigers losing by that margin, you know, you know something strange has happened. Quite interesting looking at the stats that Leicester had the majority of territory of possession, but, but obviously Bath were pretty ruthless and um, scored some good tries. Obviously, you've got a good recent record against them, though, so no real worries about that. Against Bath? Yeah. Yeah, they're an exciting team, aren't they? They've got a lot of good, exciting backs, real physical pack. Missing a few this weekend, but I think we know that there'll be a real tough test for us up front, and uh, we look forward to that. They've been getting better up front, do you feel, over the years? They've been good for the last couple of seasons. Real heavy testing in the set piece. In terms of uh, in terms of you, Josh, as, as a mentor, Christian, what, what is he like for you? Uh, line out expert, I'd say. Yeah, he's just <laughs> <laughs> just knows anything about line out, knows what calls to make, uh, always makes the right decisions. I Nothing think else. that's it, really. I haven't <laughs> seen much of Josh. He's injured at the moment. Yeah. He's got a bad knee, but he's. Uh, He's rehabbing yeah. hard and he'll be on the pitch soon. Do you take a mentor and role for him then? Not with Josh yet, because he hasn't been on the pitch, to be honest. Um, you know, I did a lot of work with uh, Alex Wolford last year, and I think he's really, really developed this season. He's playing first team rugby for Mosley and really developing, I think, now into a senior second row. And if you just watch the Wanderers line out there, they gave the first team some problems. So it uh, shows you how much strength and depth this uh, squad has, not it? Yeah, what do you make to the strength and depth that you've got here, Josh? Because obviously the, the, the younger lads here have really pushed the older boys, I mean. Uh, yeah, we do, I think. Well, not me personally right now, but everybody's like wants to play, everybody wants to get it. Uh, get some game time. But obviously, the senior guys uh, set the mark, really. They set a standard. Yeah, I mean, who's your sort of idol at the club? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. We don't There's have a few players to look up to. We, we, don't, have, we don't have idols. <laughs> no idols. No, it's good, it's good though that I think our strength in depth is led by young players. And I think that's crucial. You don't want. You don't want, I don't think, 40 senior players because it's never going to work. There's, there's not enough places for everyone. But when you've got young kids really developing, getting stronger and stronger, and then they start knocking on the door, it drives the older guys on. But as well, they're fresh, that they're really keen to play, and they generally have brilliant attitudes. So I think we've got the balance just right at the moment.